Can security be better? Because of the situation at hand, yes, security can be better. Be honest. Only Nine Investigates is questioning the prison inmate who was able to escape from this Lake County facility, causing a massive manhunt and putting communities in fear. I got a chance to, to see some of the, uh, the actual traffic. I've slipped by him without him seeing me a couple of times. Allenton John told us it was a split second decision after a breakup that will now likely add years to his prison sentence. The inmate actually reached out to us. Investigative reporter Carla Ray got the call to talk about how he was able to just walk away from the Lake County Correctional Facility near Mineola. Carla joins us live and Carla, not only did no one try to stop him, he says people helped him along the way without having any idea who the guy was. He says that people were very friendly, and if they did know, they seemed very comfortable with the whole thing. He told me he was in a bad state of mind, having depression uh, issues from a breakup when he walked away. And by the time he realized that he was far enough away to get in trouble, he says he was too embarrassed to turn around. He told me he fully expected to die instead of getting caught. In shackles and an orange jumpsuit, Ellington John walked into an interview room at the Lake County Jail to discuss the day he walked away from the state's Lake Correctional Institution. Had you thought about it before that day? I never thought about it. John was on the back end of a 15-year sentence for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon for pistol whipping his ex in 2008. He says it was a split-second decision amid grief from a breakup that prompted him to take off from a work detail on the outside grounds of the medium security prison. He says no one came after him despite having at least two corrections officers watching his group. If there was more supervision, yeah, it could have been stopped. Investigators say he stole a truck and wound up 40 miles away in Orange County, where he hid out for more than a day, even stopping inside a few stores, including a Target, and interacting with people who likely had no idea who he was. Well, our uniforms aren't labeled as Department of Corrections or anything like that. He says that helped him avoid being caught, even as law enforcement drove right past him, putting fear in neighborhoods across two counties and likely adding to the time he'll spend behind bars. I want to apologize to everyone that this has affected, man. You know, um, my family, for one, the community, you know, everything that I put them through for the few hours I was out there. And because of that few hours that he was out, he could face an additional 20 years in prison. Uh, you may recall that he had two screwdrivers in his pocket when he was caught. He told me those were from that work detail that he was working here for the Corrections Department. I also asked DOC today whether they've made any changes in light of this escape. They told me this incident is still under review. Reporting live in Lake County, Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.